In this video, I want to look at some considerations when we're working with exporting and take folders. Now, when we export either single track or all tracks, it's going to export from the start to the end of the project, and it's going to export whatever the current take or comp that's active is. Now, these are all multi take take folders, and these are the ones that have been exported in the last few videos. Now, I can switch takes, and if I hit export either track or all tracks, it'll export that current one. Now, there's a couple of things that we can think about when we're working with these multiple takes. Now, let's say we want to export a different take. The simplest way to do it, like I just showed you, is to just change takes like that, hit export, and it'll export that one. The other thing we can do is from under there, we can go unpack and not unpack the new tracks. That's an important difference, which we're going to look at in a moment, but just unpack. And what it does is it unpacks these to Let's look at the track parameters here. The same audio track. There's audio seven, audio seven, audio seven. So it clones the channel strip and it places these regions on each of these tracks associated with that same channel strip. So basically, whichever one is unmuted here is going to be the one that's exported. Now, if you unmute multiple ones like this, it's not going to merge them together. It's going to export either the lowest in the track list or the one that starts later in the timeline. So let me just mute those again. And a quick little summary. We can change which take is being exported either by changing in this drop down menu, which is the easiest, or if you've got them all unpacked to multiple tracks pointing to the same channel strip, it'll be based on whichever one is unmuted. And if multiple ones are unmuted, it's either the lowest or the latest. Hit undo a few times and get back to the take folder there. Now, what if we want to export all the takes so that they're all available? to be imported somewhere else. What we need to do is go under here and go unpack to new tracks. Now what it's doing here is it's creating additional tracks. And this name, by the way, is just something that was in my project from before. So it's not particularly relevant to this video, but that's the name that was given. But the important thing to realize here is that these are all separate channel strips. There's audio one, and even though they all have the same name, there's audio eight, audio nine, audio 10, etc. So these are all placed on unique channel strips. So if I go export all now, we'll see that we have 17 to be exported. Now I'm going to export them all and it'll take a bit longer because it's got more to go through, of course, but it's important to consider the naming of these before they're exported because we're going to run into trouble now. What's going to happen is we have nine guitar takes altogether, but we're going to have one that's called guitar and then we're going to have one that's named with this and then we're going to have seven that are named with this with numbers appended to them. So we're finishing the calculation now. And let me look in the export folder. And you'll see here that we have the track guitar, and then we have the one with this name, all of course with bounce in place added at the end. But then we have ones or duplicates with that name with numbers appended. So obviously this is going to be kind of confusing. Let me just delete these. And a better idea when you're exporting like this is to rename your tracks before you export. Let me just select that and hit Command C so it's in my buffer. And then I can just hit Tab, Paste, 3, Tab, Paste, 4. Nice quick shortcut. Paste, 5. So now when I perform that same export, they're all going to be named accordingly based on the individual names that pertain to the individual channel strips. And of course, that's going to be a much more organized way of working and better to deal with it at the source like this rather than after they're exported and you don't have the open project in front of you and you don't, or you might not remember exactly which track is which order. Best to do it here at the source when it's all fresh in your mind and right in front of you. So now that this is done, we'll just let it finish calculating and we'll look in the export folder. We'll see that these will all be named as expected with guitar one through nine. So much more cleaner way of working. So that's something to consider when we're working with exporting multiple takes from take folders. See you for more in the next video.